From Times Square, this is Good Morning America with Charles Gibson, Diane Sawyer, and Robin Roberts. And a birthday to celebrate the game of Monopoly turns 70. We're going to roll the dice, try to stay out of jail. Do you know, because they've done computer studies on this, do you know which are the most profitable monopolies, properties to get? I'm sure you know. Yes. Baltimore. Baltimore? Baltic? Ba Baltic. Baltic. Baltimore? The yellow one. Isn't Baltimore the yellow one? I know Baltimore Illinois Avenue. Yellow Illinois. is Atlantic yeah. Avenue, Marvin Gardens, and Ventnor. Oh, oh it's, not. it's not. But that's one of the least profitable. You're just showing off now. The red and the orange are the two most profitable monopolies. Why did you do this, Doug? Just stick around for these right. kinds of Why? tips. will be all coming up. Let's get to Robin in the head. All right, you two. And that is the latest news at 8.06. The latest weather in for Tony Perkins is Marisol Castro. Thank you so much, Robin. Good morning to everyone. You know, we're celebrating the 70th anniversary of Monopoly, as you mentioned. And, you know, I know Charlie likes the yellow property, but Boardwalk, you can never go wrong. with. We've set up some folks here who are actually playing a couple of rounds of Monopoly. And... You know what? You'll find things about this game that you have never known before. But right now, I want to turn to some weather and show you some of the highlights across the country. As you look at the maps, Elkins, West Virginia, 86 degrees today. Yesterday, it was 96. Des Moines will have some thunderstorms. Tulsa, almost 100, 99 degrees. Out west, a lot more comfortable. The high temperatures, 80s for much of the east with humidity. It feels a lot hotter. Bad hair day. 90 and above in Chicago and St. Louis. This is the sixth consecutive day of 90 degree temperature. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Well, good morning. Showers and downpours this morning, perhaps in a few rumbles of thunder. And then this afternoon, we'll see a little bit of hazy sunshine, but today's very tropical. It's very humid. High temperatures will top off in the low 80s, so a little bit cooler, but it's really going to feel like a steam bath out there today. And pretty much more of the same as we move on into towards Wednesday, Thursday, and even Friday. We keep with the same type of air mass with the chance of showers and thunderstorms from time to time. It's Friday night that a cold front will move through, and then check out Saturday. It's dry and sunny with highs around 80. Jail, go directly to jail. It is not seven minutes after the hour, Diane. Also this half hour, need to revamp the kitchen? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> doing the Monopoly game. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. How many hours have you spent playing Monopoly in your life, do you think? It's probably, you total them all up, it's probably 14 years. That's right. I feel the same way. Anyway, the kitchen, we have our great kitchen gadgets. Yay, Sarah Moulton. She's the best scout in the world for things that really work and can change your life. That peeler last year changed my life, Sarah. And I'm going to steal some more of this. Year. And 70 years old is Monopoly. And we have a giant Monopoly board here. Are these real? No, it's not real community. Chest cards, but big dice. Did you know, I learned this this morning, mm -hmm. that the most return for your buck is not to get a hotel on a property, but three houses. No. Yes. You get better value for three houses than you, you do for a hotel. I you scared everybody more if you had a hotel. I, you probably do, but uh, <laughs> best value, apparently. And I always believed you ought to collect the railroads and... Uh, and the utilities. Mr. Monopoly is actually here yeah. uh, this morning. We have a bunch of members of the audience actually playing Monopoly, and we will celebrate the 70th birthday of Monopoly a little bit later in this half hour. But let's get to the news headlines with Robin Roberts. Thank you very much, Robin. Good morning to you. You know, as we mentioned earlier in the show, we took some random audience members, paired them together to play a little friendly game, or so we thought, friendly game of Monopoly. And dear, I'm sorry, I paired you up with a Monopoly shark here, uh, a, a, a former accountant. He is hoarding that bank like nobody's business. You know, there's some fun factors. No, continue playing. You're down by like $1,000, but that's neither here nor there. Um, did you know that the longest Monopoly game lasted 70 straight days? And do you know that the longest Monopoly game in a bathtub lasted four days and three hours? <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. So we're celebrating the 70th anniversary, as Charlie mentioned before. It is more lucrative if you put houses instead of hotels. It's also better to sell property instead of mortgaging it. So um, another fun factoid, people actually play this game upside down. Would you ever do that? Uh, I guess if I could, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I think you, uh, you and that other woman should put your money together because this is not looking good for you, my friend. Let's tell you a little bit about the weather in homage to Atlantic City. It's 87 degrees and it's uh, a little humid. It's humid across a lot of the country. We also have strong thunderstorms producing hail, gusty winds, and a few, or to few tornadoes from the northern Rockies to the Great Lakes. Much of the east will have a chance of scattered storms. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Thank you so much. This weather report has been brought to you by Frizzies. Now back up to Diane. When we come back, celebrating the 70th anniversary of Monopoly, the game that taught everyone a little something about real estate. Stay with us. 
70th anniversary of Monopoly, as we've said, and Mr. Monopoly is here to tell us about the classic game. Thank you, Bao. Ah, uh, yes. Happy I, birthday. I, thank you, you very, very much. You don't look 70 at all. Uh, don't we've, feel it. We brought a giant version of the game here. I see it. It's you beautiful. have a little quiz, I understand, for us about Monopoly. Well, yes, I do. Um, we want to know, for example, we'll start off with a very easy question. How much do you collect when you pass go? 200 bucks. Ah, very, oh, very good. Easy. You have that won yourself. Easy. A gold coin, Mr. Gibson. Thank you. All right. Will you name one of the orange properties? Don't vote. Right. New York Avenue. Oh, oh, very good. Tennessee is Tennessee and orange. Is orange? Oh, yes. St. Yes. James Place. I'm sorry. Well, excellent. Place. Excellent. You get yourself another one. <laughs> You're so happy, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Would you name one of the two most expensive properties? Oh, we're Park Place. Oh, my goodness. Now, if you can name one of the... But, you, but as I recall, right. you shouldn't buy Boardwalk and Park Place. The people don't land on them much. They don't, but when they do, they pay a lot. They do. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, I'm going to give you a 70th anniversary pin if you can name one of the two least expensive properties in the game. Mm. Oh, the, the light blues, Baltic and, uh, and Mediterranean. Excellent. Oh, oh my God. Monopoly. How much money do you get when you start? You're just showing off now, Charlie. Two well, five hundreds, two hundreds, two fifties, six twenties. Yeah. Oh. Five tens, five fives, and five ones. Exactly. $1,500 $1, when you start the game. Oh. I, I, want, I want $1,500 for that. Okay, well, you're, you're <laughs> for that one. And Miss Sawyer, um, let's see. Uh, can you name one of the real rooms? That should be a nice easy one. Oh, the B&O. B&O, excellent. Yeah. You get yourself a 10. Oh, wait a minute, Fowl, you're standing right in front of B&O. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking into my eyes, and she did, yes. Yeah, so. no, no. All Can right. you name one of the other railroads? Oh, Short Line Reading. Short Line Reading. Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well done. Well done. I've wasted too much of my life on your game. I appreciate wow, it's it. Not Thanks a waste at all. And happy birthday. It's the best yeah. of the games, I think. Are you sure you're not Mr. Peanut? No. no. <laughs> we all know each other uh, all the time. We get together every once in a while. All right. Do it. Do it, Sawyer. Oh. Oh.